Let's talk about the formula for finding the area of a triangle. Area equals one half base times height. We could just plug the numbers into the formula and get an answer, but what does it mean? Where does that one half come from? We'll get to that, but first, let's get rid of that half. Wait a minute, that looks like the formula for finding the area of a rectangle. Area equals length times width, and that tells us how many square units are inside the rectangle. Rectangles are a cinch because of all those right angles. Interestingly, area for parallelograms that don't have right angles, like these, are solved in a similar fashion. We just focus on base and height instead of length and width. But watch this. Area equals base times height. If you cut off this piece and move it over here, you can see we have a rectangle with a length of 6 and a height of 4. The areas of both the rectangle and this parallelogram are the same. Okay, moving on. Why am I talking about different types of parallelograms? This is supposed to be about triangles. All right, here we go. Area of a triangle equals 1 half base times height. Take this right triangle here with a base of 10 inches and a height of 8 inches. We want to know the area, or how many square inches, the space inside can hold. So I'm going to take another triangle, same size and shape, or congruent, to this one, just in a different color to help you see. Now, if I line these up with their hypotenuses completely touching, you see I now have a rectangle with a length of 10 inches and a width of 8 inches. So, you see it takes two of the triangles here to make this rectangle. Therefore, the area of this right triangle is going to be one half the area of this rectangle. There it is, the one half from the formula of area of a triangle. Area equals one half base times height. As further proof, if half across this diagonal is difficult for you to see, look at it like this. If I decompose this triangle like this, you'll see that the triangle can fit into half of the rectangle in this way too. One half of the base times height. Not all triangles have right angles though. Don't worry, we'll talk about those too. Let's copy and rotate this triangle just like we did before. But this time, instead of getting a rectangle, we get a parallelogram. You know that the area of a parallelogram is base times height, and half of a parallelogram is a triangle. So no matter what angles are in the triangle, the area must be one half base times height. 